December 30, 2021, 3084 p.m. As flames closed in, how will I know when it's time to evacuate? Few knew what to do. We will send another notification and it's a mandatory evacuation. And the notification will come through on my cell phone. It's a system that you have to sign up for if you don't have a landline. It's called Everbridge. So we were checking in with social media and it seemed like there was a fire over on Marshall Road somewhere. Chris and Jane Fuller thought the danger was still miles away. We didn't really think anything of it. It wasn't. Chris looked out of the window and up the street there were flames coming from our house just, you know, six or seven houses up. And at that point, it was just uh, panic. Panic, thanks, they say, to zero notice for them or for others near St. Andrew's Lane. We didn't get any notification at all. Nothing. And we never got it. Well, it's a failure. It's a failure. It's an abject failure. I mean, it makes me angry, frankly. I expected somebody to call me or text me on my phone and say, it's time to evacuate. Jane Fuller's anger is due to the fact that Boulder County had a system that could have alerted her cell phone and every phone in the area. The expectation should be that we're using every tool we can to alert people. And yet Boulder County's Mike Chard knows that system had yet to go live. He blames, among other things, the pandemic. And we hit COVID. And we were, you know, in operational response COVID. Uh, the priority was dealing with saving lives in the county. Here's why that matters. The day of the fire, Boulder was only set up to alert cell phone users who had signed up or opted in to receive warnings. And that day in Boulder County, only 24% of cell phone users had opted in. If we would have known that this was going to hit on the 31st, obviously there could have been some reprioritization of it. Had that reprioritization worked, Boulder would have used a now decade old system known as WIA, or Wireless Emergency Alerts, a system designed in theory to alert every cell phone in a specific area. The federal government calls WIA an essential part of America's emergency preparedness. Shard admits the Marshall Fire was bad. It could have been worse. Could have been, yeah, absolutely. You know, nighttime would have changed the dynamic on this for sure. Just a moment, I'm trying to see if we have any reports of a fire there. We have a bunch of fires right now um, in, in Sonoma County. So. In 2017, the residents of Sonoma County, California, she thinks she can't get out. Found out what can happen when alerts fail to reach everyone. Uh, we don't have the resources to just go help her out, so I'm going to let them know she's there, but they're I keep trying to call my mother. No answer. So then she calls me. Jessica Tunis spent part of that October night listening to hell. So I just said, Mom, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to reach you. There's a big fire. I don't even know how I got that sentence out without her the scream. Her, she's like, my house is on fire. My house is on fire. I'm like, what? It's like, does not compute. Like, there's no evacuation notice for your neighborhood. Like, how could this happen? The Tubbs fire destroyed 5,000 homes, killed 22. Many never knew it was coming. And I said, Mom, you just, you gotta get to a window. You gotta, you gotta jump, you gotta do something. And I'm like begging her, begging her to please jump out of the house. And I, re I don't know, I reverted to like, I reverted to a child. And I just started telling her, I love you, Mommy. I love you, Mommy. I haven't called her Mommy since I was probably 10. And then I just realized this was my last moments with my mother, and I just want to tell her I love her. So that's what I did. I, I don't even know. I just said I love you, Mommy, a lot of times. And then she screamed, and then the phone went dead. Linda Tunis died in a county that also had WIA but chose not to use it. At that point in time, WIA was essentially an untested system. And so they elected not to use the WIA system during that warning event. Chris Godley came into this office to change that. There was a failure of trust, if you would. People felt let down by their local government, that the government 
should have been able to identify and warn them ahead of time. He added staff just for WIA. In the five years he's been here, the county has now sent three dozen WIA alerts. No one has died. The public demands a level of service that's not been seen before. The cell phone is kind of how we do business these days. So if you're not making use of that technology, you may be disappointing your residents. They've learned from our mistake, 100%. Jessica Tunis says now... She loved their bingo. She trusts the county where her mom died. Oh, I'm confident. They, yeah, they are going to alert. Yet in the country, WIA remains underutilized. We found in Colorado, for example, 10 counties don't even have it. Another five are still working to set it up. Remember Jane Fuller from Louisville? I had been on a trip a, a couple years ago with my sisters in Sonoma, in the Sonoma area. Yes, the same Sonoma County in California. And all three of us received an, uh, an evacuation notice from being near a fire zone. She learned the value of those WIA alerts. So when smoke approached her Colorado home late last year, she thought another alert would certainly come. That's what I was expecting. That's what I was waiting for, a notification like the one I had in California to say, you need to evacuate now. And, I'm in Lewisville and, and yet, I want as you to now know, what's your address? it never did. I'm sorry? What's your Since the Marshall Fire, Boulder County has finally turned on its WIA system. I guess what I would tell them is we've gotten better since this fire. We've implemented this system. We've used it already. Twice, in fact. Warnings Jane Fuller welcomes. In light of the day, too many were left in the dark. There's no excuse. We assumed there would have been an emergency alert. You know, there needs to be some kind of system that ha accesses everybody and tells them what's happening. Literally millions of lives depend on the technologies here. It's no longer a luxury to have a cell phone. This is how we live now. And so we need to make sure these systems can perform at that public safety standard where people have the same confidence that they'll get those warnings as they would if they had to call 911.